All right, so this is the third crew that I put together last weekend, and it's a trip crew. It's supposed to help you choose between different cities that you want to visit and then give you a full itinerary of what you should be doing in that city. So it's going to help you figure out pricing. It's going to help you figure out what restaurants you want to go and everything. Um, so the way that it works is pretty straightforward. Uh, you have agents and tasks, as usual. For agents, we are running with a city selection agent, a local expert, and a travel concierge. Those three are going to work together from, like, Choosing what city you should go, figuring out ticket prices and figuring out restaurants and everything. Uh, they have pretty basic tools, basically searching and browsing and, uh, and also calculator in case they need to do some math in order to figure out how much the thing's going to cost. Uh, for tasks, also pretty straightforward. We start with identify tasks, basically trying to figure out between all the different options, which is the city that you want to go, then gather information about that city, then plan what you should actually be doing that city for a seven day trip. Again, Pretty straightforward. The main code basically put those tasks and agents together in a crew uh, and asks you where you're going to be traveling from, what are the cities that you're interested in visiting, what is the date range that you're looking for, and then like what are some of your high-level interests and hobbies, things like what do you want to check out or what do you want to eat and things like that. So it should be pretty straightforward. All right. So I said I'm traveling from Sao Paulo. I'm trying to decide to either go to New York or San Francisco. I'm going to probably be doing it late January. And I like good Japanese food, technology, AI, and programming. And then you can see that the city selection expert already takes us away and starts to analyze to select what would be the best city. Uh, you can see that it starts uh, searching the internet, checking the weather for San Francisco late in January. And it's going to keep like using these tools to figure out like between San Francisco and New York, which city should I go based on weather, ticket costs, my hobbies and interests and all that. All right, so I bring you along and I show the result in a second. All right, so here, the first agent finished its work and it decided that San Francisco would provide a more enjoyable and enriching experience. It talks about flight costs, it talks about Japanese food, talks about events, it seems there are a few stuff that are happening late January that I should check it out, and talks about the weather that seems to be pretty pleasant. Uh, so there you go. Uh, now the local expert at San Francisco is going to take in and figure out where exactly should I be going and what should I be doing there. All right, so our second agent just finished it, and it seems to turn out pretty good. It returned me some key attractions, kind of like what you'd expect for like any tourist, uh, Alcatraz, Golden Gate, and some other stuff. There are also some hidden gems there, some that I have never heard of, so it might be cool. And uh, special events, daily recommendations, even some specific recommendations around Japanese food, mentions the weather, high-level costs, seems pretty good. Now our travel concierge kicks in in order to actually put together a full itinerary for the seven days. So uh, let's check that out. And there you have it. This is our trip plan, a seven-day travel itinerary for San Francisco, from landing and checking in in the Hyatt Regency in San Francisco, near the Embarcadero, to exploring the city, launching at Akiko's Sushi Bar, and uh, yeah, tech attractions that I should be checking. It seems it really, it really ran all out on the Japanese food there. I'm basically going to Japanese restaurants on a daily basis, it seems. Uh, so yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Talks about weather forecast, talks about packing suggestions, what I should pack, and then there's a budget breakdown of how much that would cost. So uh, there you have it. That's our uh, trip crew. Um, I'm going to be releasing that together with the other two examples that I shared early this week, and you can check them out, play around. It's all going to be in GitHub and Replit. So uh, go for it. All right, check your folks online.